First up, we have Anas, who has apparently changed his business name. Why has he done so? Let's find out. My name is Anas Aziz and today I'll be bringing you to the new title of my product, Pepper Patty. We will give you 5,000 ringgit as well yes. today. I've been receiving advice from all the judges to consider about the name of my product. I think a new product here. So, kita cuma nak tengok sama ada you punya penerimaan atas produk tu lah. Exactly like what the judges said, whenever I go to people and I've asked them about Patty Puff, Patty Puff would come with Curry Puff. Curry Puff, eh? That is the reality of something that I've done. I should change the name. Anas Patty? Kampung Patty. Kampung Patty. Black Puff. I would like to stick with the PT, but it can't be Patty Puff anymore. Paper Patty je. Okay lah. bahan kita semua guna lah dia. So, I've changed the name of Patty Puff to Pepper Patty. So I can still keep the original PP symbol. I have asked my designer to change the logo and the slogan of my product. The other thing that they have asked me to do is to think about the branding itself. Because to avoid people from copying the product that I'm, I'm selling at the moment. Basically, from the 5,000 that they have taken from the courtesy of my EG, I have actually spent the seed money to do my branding. One of the judges was wishing me a good luck on trying to sell more than 500 units per day. From now to the grand finals, we want to see how many puffs you can sell in a day. To stand as a young entrepreneur and the youngest grand finalist in this program, it does mean something to me. The last thing that I've been Spending the 5,000 is obviously on all the events and the sales that I have managed to encounter. Especially if you're at Puncha Alam itself. Bila kita mula-mula merancang untuk buat Carnival of Life ni, kita punya pilihan makanan tu terhad kepada makanan yang sehat sahaja. Uh, jadi atas sebab itulah saya berjemput Cik Anas untuk memperkenalkan produk Pepper Patty ni. They have asked 400 unit just to supply for their contestants in collaboration of all the events. After doing talks, people get to know me. They know what I'm selling. So actually, I'm using a free ways to sell my product. And in the end of the day, I got the result of, yes, it's a good product. First time saya rasa tadi, wow, very fantastic. Saya suka roti dia. So, kalau kita letak margarine ke, uh, make it taste better lah. And surprisingly, after all that I've done throughout my journey, now I can even get 1,000 units per event. What else can I say? My sale is increasing every single day, more than I expected. I'm basically showing the judges that I can do what they want me to do, follow their advices, and yes, better, I can do more based on my own ideas and all my friends' ideas. I hope they can see this is the business that is worth investing. Yes, I'm glad to be here today because throughout my journey, to be here today, make the pitch really make a difference for me. And yes, my business is getting better and I'm getting more offers here and there, so... How many um, stores do you have operating right now? I have currently, I only have two. One is in Unicell and one in Tanjung Karang, but since we are having the final soon here and we are having um, a lot of offers into coming to events, so we have to stop the production. How, how does having the finals nearby, close by, cause you to close the operations at Tanjung Karang? The events that we are having actually cost us a lot of time and we need to stop the production in Tanjung Karang but we replace it using the events because I can see that there are small offers coming in Some yes, even but we, we, we requested to visit your stalls um, for duration of one week and um, you couldn't give us any location where you are actually selling these uh, product. yeah, products yeah. so it appears to us that for one whole week no, um, you were not uh, in business just for one week or two weeks now because after this after next week we are going to still operate everything again Wow, that's not how business yeah. progresses, isn't it? And business cannot be seasonal. Yes, it has yes, to be continuous, consistent. So yes. um, I don't see how at the same time you see that my business is growing. Basically, when I'm closing for like this week, for example, I have covered the total event because we are having aims for like 40 sets per day. The first page, you tell us that no, you're going to have uh, five, six stalls operating yeah, immediately. Yeah. Uh, that, Obviously, that's you cannot even handle two stalls and no, uh, we don't no, see how uh, you can Yeah, that, that's another thing here. Uh, actually, we have another reason of why we close the store is because we got an offer from MOA. So I have been offered by, again, Tekun, but this time it's not being sponsored 
we are invited to be rakan niaga. How much you're asking for and, and what is to be used for? 250k. Yeah. Actually, I don't really need the central kitchen after what I heard from the judges. So 250k to do? Uh, I would like to set up the production plan. What is the track record, the history that you could show hmm? to your franchisee? Actually, I'm bringing them everywhere. All the 12 people that I'm, I'm giving Everywhere them. to where? No, I mean, uh, I'm actually the inviting events. them to the events and even to the sales in Unicells. They're actually learning. You've actually just brought them to events, you know, where the demand was already there. Yes. How do you teach them to generate demand? But then, as the, I the, the said, training doesn't cater for that. No, the, the thing is, as I said earlier, once I listened to Mr. T.S. Uh, the last pitching, yeah. right, I was told that I need to find people who, who are close to me, who I can manage, who I can control. So yeah. basically, all these 12 are those people who have been with me throughout from the first before the pitching itself. So, so they to, be, know. to clarify, I, men I mentioned that you should make sure your existing store operations are running okay. fine. Which yes. means that you have to ensure your two existing stalls operate at an optimum level. Yeah. But you no, know, obviously you have neglected to even operate these two stalls, yeah, um, which you have. What was the revenue on the events that you did versus the revenue that you generated on the retail? Based on the events, I got 50% higher sales than the retail. And what is that number? Basically, if per day I'm aiming for 40 sets per day, which means 80 units. You told us to sell 500 units a day at the Yeah, 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 I know, but then now we're telling us it's 80. No, no, now we expected because they are the new, the new, I mean, this is for the, the... Yeah, you close your existing stalls, which were selling 500 a day, to run these events, which sell 1,000, 1,600, right? Yeah, so we cover for three days, if I'm not mistaken. So if the margins are higher, the markets are locked in, why yeah. are you still doing a kiosk yeah. model instead of just doing a catering just model? Just from no, a no, pitching no. perspective, be, be, because, asking for money, uh, mm, yeah. you know, yeah. no, the thing whether is, you saw the differential um, and... Maybe events you know. usually happens in weekends, you can, we can say. So this is a supporting um, income, sales. But then retail is where, you know, when, uh, when it comes to events, people will buy in a lot of volumes. Okay, great. So okay, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. And thank still, you. thank you very much. Thanks. I don't think that the judges really think that I've been doing anything. They were too eager to stabilize about my retails and outlet. And they have forgotten that the market itself is more important. Maybe their view is too narrowed into just one particular situation of where I just need to move on. The first seed capital recipient has gone through. After the break, Let's find out the fate of the next two finalists, Jay Menon and Jimmy Yo.